What's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at creating this uh, morph animation in Hit Film Express. Since a lot of you wanted me to create a tutorial on this. Um, so let's begin. So I'm just going to create a new composition. I have mine already set up. I'm going to create a new plane layer and give it a white color and click on OK. Then in the effects tab, I'm going to search for 1080p tile safeguard effect. I won't be able to see anything it's because we need to change its blending mode to normal. Let's just change its color as well. Alright, so now this right here is the center of our composition. Now, um, what we have to do is select the rectangular mask tool and we'll create a square shape. So I'm just going to put my mouse cursor in the middle. Hold the Alt and the Shift key and create a square shape like that and uh, then we'll go into the mask and into the transform um, so in my animation as you can see um, we'll be creating the path keyframes and the rotation keyframes as well so I started with the triangle shape so we'll just do that um, so I'm just going to start at the top and the reason is because I want to rotate this shape as well. So that's why we I'm starting from the top side. Just bring it right in the middle like that. And then we will also create a rotation keyframe. Now I'll create another rotation keyframe at one second duration. And I'm going to set the rotation to 90. So we add this animation then right here I will change the shape so again use the bot uh, make sure your freehand mask tool is selected and then I'm just going to select this point and bring it back that is looking fine so we have this simple animation right here then we're going to select these two keyframes, convert it to manual bezier, then we're going to value graph. And I'm just going to drag this handle all the way to the left and this one to the right. So now, as you can see, we have this animation. And I want this uh, keyframe uh, to be right over here. Okay. So something like that you can just bring this right over here let's see where this is it's at the 12th frame so let's just set this keyframe at that position to okay so we have this simple animation then what I'm going to do is um, create another keyframe. So uh, I'll just copy this shape and paste it right over here. So we have the same exact same keyframe right at this position as well. Um, now I'll just move to like two seconds in time and I'll create another rotation keyframe. And this time I'm going to set the rotation to 180. Right, so we have this uh, animation again. Yeah, at this point, uh, we'll create a triangle shape. I'm going to select this keyframe, convert it to manual bezier, go into value graph, create a similar kind of slope. Again, um, I need to position the keyframes, so uh, let's do that. So, should be add. I'm going to put this keyframe right over here. And we have this kind of animation. So, we are done. And the last thing that I did was uh, in the effects tab, uh, search for the fill color and apply it on this layer. 
and then we will animate the color as well so expand the fill color you have the color here that is not what i want so let's go in back to the mask and just quickly copy this shape paste it right over here so basically uh what i want is to create a, a play icon facing to the to the triangle icon facing towards the right um, so just do that okay now this should work yeah now uh, let's go to the fill color and animate the color so i'm just going to create a color keyframe at the first frame uh, so since this is a play symbol uh, so i'm just going to set its color to green and click on ok to apply it and then we will uh, move forward just double click on this keyframe and this time we will set the color to red uh, click on ok Again, move forward so set the same color you can copy this and paste it right over there and double click on this keyframe and copy the green color and paste it right over there so um, that's basically how I created this animation and then you can just loop it uh, if you want to so that's basically how I created this animation inside hit film express um, so I hope this uh, tutorial was uh, helpful to you guys if it was please do consider liking this video and also subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one